Hey Cancers, it's Star with Eyes of the Stars Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. So let's start on your love reading. So when I was shuffling these cards, the uh, Romance Angel cards by Doreen Virtue, twice the Keep an Open Mind card came out. So let's just keep that in mind. <laughs> I do feel it was a message for you that there is a need for you to kind of keep an open mind about your love relationships. It's not always going to be how we think it is. Sometimes it's just how it's got to be. And we just have to, you know, learn to be more adaptable and kind of go with the flow on certain things. Okay, you're having to release someone. Release your ex. Someone's been on your mind. But it's the time has come to clear your energy, it says. Um... Again, my goodness, okay, free yourself. There's an, uh, an energy that you need to really just loosen yourself from because it might have uh, been occupying a lot of your time, a lot of your mind, <clears throat> a lot of your mind, a lot of your thoughts is what I'm saying. And it's just time to let it go. Okay, chemistry. That's what's keeping you bound to this person. There was an intense chemistry with them. Uh, past life relationship at the bottom of the deck so this might have been like a soulmate connection a karmic relationship and that's why you have this intense chemistry between the two of you but it is time to free yourself so let's take a look the high priestess Um, I feel like this is about you using your intuition, using your inner inner knowledge to be able to um, pull yourself away is what I'm getting. I feel like there might be a need for you to be uh, like kind of put on your poker face, not really show so much of that emotional side of yourself. Okay, we have the four of wands. This might be like an ex ex spouse. Hmm. Free yourself. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands reverse. Okay, so what I'm getting here, because I, I feel like for the majority of you, I don't, I don't, I really don't think this is about a marriage, like um, like a spouse. I feel like what this is saying is that you need to release your ex using all the inner knowledge that you have gained, uh, you know, throughout all the relationships that you have been in, the commitments that you've had. Like, what have you learned from them? I feel like this is about lessons. The lessons that you've learned you know this is about your inner knowledge so yeah this is about your experience in relationships what have you learned from this uh, to gather up the courage to release yourself from um, a connection that just doesn't serve you okay this may have been an attraction or a relationship that started off really hot and heavy um, and that just kind of fizzled out Maybe with no explanation, and this has been difficult for you to, you know, leave behind. Yeah, see, the death card reversed. It's been difficult for you to put it past, um, past you. Or just leave it in the past. <clears throat> okay, so let's see for chemistry. Nine of Swords reverse. Okay, so yeah, there is that chemistry, but it's just not enough to keep you bound anymore. I feel like this was something like that passion, that that magnetism was something that you were obsessing about in the past, but I feel like now it's kind of dying down. Yeah, see the Seven of Wands reverse. So you're backing away from this. You recognize that this is not good for you. You recognize that this is something that has ended or it needs to end. And, um, yeah, I feel like this month you're really going to put in that effort that, uh, you know, that last push to just pull yourself away from this person. 
Okie dokie, let's look at your Celtic cross now. Oh, sorry for the reach. So, I've been mentioning in all of my videos, because I promised them that I would, but I was in Colorado for a few days. Um, in Colorado Springs and I just absolutely loved it and so I want you guys if you're ever in the Colorado Springs area you definitely have to visit Studio A64 it's kind of like a lounge that I mean they just have the best food it kind of like comfort food and the environment is so you know the atmosphere the service is excellent so definitely worth visiting all right, so what's going on with cancer? And this is for May 1st through the 15th, 2018, male and female cancers. What do they need to know about love and relationships? What is going on? This card was at the bottom of the deck um, when I shuffled it, and it did catch my eye. So you guys are guarded right now. You're not really... Um, very trustful of others you're kind of suspicious of others like a little bit um i would say like cynical <clears throat> you know about people's intentions and whatnot we have the queen of wands is what's crossing you so i feel like you guys are lacking uh confidence right now that or at least in the beginning of may things have happened that have left you kind of um beat up feeling like you can't really trust anyone and so this is messed with your confidence you're trying to regain that back okay so the reason this is all happening is because either you walked away from a relationship or somebody walked away from you it was difficult there was emotion there oh, too many cards Ooh, the tower card try to come out it's for the past six of pentacles there might have been a relationship where either there was like an unrequited love or just somebody not really putting in as much effort as you were or vice versa six i'm oh, sorry um what is crowning you Six of Wands. Okay. So you got your eyes set on success. You want to get out there, start getting attention again. Maybe you want to start dating again. Uh, regain that confidence that's a little bit shaky right now. I don't feel like it's gone. I just feel like it's shaky. Like you need um, you need a bit of an ego boost here. Like you need to get out there and, you know, let people see the beauty of you. <laughs> um, but yeah. Because whoever it is that you walked away from, they, they left you kind of beat up. And this is, see, we have the Six of Pentacles here in the past. Six of Wands um, is what's crowning you. It all goes back. It's a, They're both sixes, so they, they all go back to um, the number six major arcana, which is the Lover's card. So it's all about a relationship. It didn't quite go as you expected. Nine of Pentacles reversed in your near future. So... I feel like in your near future, you might realize or decide that you're kind of done with these kind of relationships. Like you want more commitment in your life. You want someone, you want a partner. You don't want just um, any old buddy. You want somebody who you can build something with, who is worth your damn time. Okay, that's what I get cards page of cups reversed this is how you see yourself page of cups reversed and the knight of wands so yeah it's like you're ready to get out there start dating get that attention um you want the excitement you want the i don't want to say the one night stands but you know you want the passion the excitement the knight of wands is not really into commitment he just comes and goes as he pleases he's kind of a player um, but you are still emotionally vulnerable. So it's like, it's like 
you're kind of fighting with yourself like yeah I want to get out there I want to start dating but oh, I'm gonna get my heart broken like you're you're kind of a little worried about that if you, you still feel like vulnerable even though you're putting on this front like you're you're some hot shit <laughs> Okay, so it's working because how others see you is the Ace of Wands. So they see you as being ready to go. You're sexy. You're enticing. Um, yeah, I mean, that's how you're coming across. Like you're open to something new. And that's exactly what you intend is to come across that way. is hot, fiery, sexy. Even though inside you might be a little scared. Okay. So hopes and fears... Nine of Cups reverse. So you're fearing that you're not really going to find emotional contentment. And this is mostly for yourself. This is not like uh, a couple, you know, like I feel like right now you're worried about yourself. Like this is like, I want to be happy on my own. I do want to have someone in my life, but I want to be happy first on my own. Okay, overall outcome. King of Pentacles reverse. Hmm. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or uh, just feeling somewhat like a lack of stability here. So, yeah. Okay, bottom of the deck we have the Hierophant reverse. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus specifically. Um, some secrets might have been revealed or I feel like for others of you like you kind of feel unstable but at the same time it's like you're up two minds with this it's like a part of you wishes you had a really stable relationship somebody that you know will be around for a while um, but then there's another part of you that has like this this um, flirty kind of energy like you want to be out there you want to be noticed um you are concerned with like your own well-being your own satisfaction so it's like i don't know it's like you want to play play both sides almost like you you do want someone to want a commitment with you but there's a lot to give up isn't there so yeah i do feel like you're like of two minds um, I feel like somebody, like there was a relationship here that kind of got away from you. It ended in disappointment. And you realize that it was more toxic. It, it might have been this karmic uh, relationship. It was kind of toxic for you and you ended up having to let it go because it was just more um, nonsense that, than what it was worth. So you had to start a new walk away from someone. Okay, let's clarify. Why are you feeling like this Nine of Wands? Yeah, see, Six of Pentacles reverse. That's what I was saying. So you felt beat up in this relationship. You felt like defeated is what I should say. Because this person just wasn't giving you, they weren't reciprocating um, the love that you were offering to them, that you were showing them, that love, that respect and whatever they... It just wasn't there. The fool. I feel like you felt like a fool. Like, um, it's almost like you felt like you were gullible or something. Like you bought into somebody's uh, smoke and mirrors. When in reality, they had no intentions of really offering you anything that was solid. So again, uh, your confidence, I feel, is what is challenging you right now. Too many of them flipped. Oh, damn. You can't see me shuffle, can you? Okay, there we go. Ooh, justice card, try to come out. Okay, Princess of Swords reverse. There might have been, like, lies or... Even if it's not lies, it's like a lack of communication. So somebody wasn't completely forthcoming with what their intentions were and then so you ended up feeling like a fool and now it's taking you some time to you know build up that confidence again to you know feel like comfortable enough to where you you know that you can see through somebody's bullshit 
Okay, King of Pentacles again. Again, may have been dealing with a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. I feel like this person was kind of intimidating to you somehow. But this person definitely wasn't very communicative. He wasn't very good at communication. And I don't, I don't know that it was his intent. Um, because, you know, he is coming up here as a king of pentacles. And I'm just saying he because it's king. But it can be man or woman. Doesn't The gender doesn't really matter. But this person, earth sign person, or if it's not an earth sign, it's somebody who embodies that, that kind of energy. So this is somebody who's very... Um, he does very well in business. He could be a business owner, somebody who's very um, financially driven. Okay, he could be very into his career, making money. Uh, and I feel like maybe that's what got in the way. There was like a lack of communication. You guys just didn't see eye to eye. You wanted different things. Like I feel like you guys had different passions. And so you really didn't know how to communicate with each other. So somebody walked away. We have the Eight of Cups here. What is this about? Yeah, Two of Cups, reverse. Somebody walked away from a relationship in which, um, I don't know, you guys just didn't really click. Or you did, but there was an element there that just did not, did not click. I don't know if it's one person wanted commitment, the other one didn't. Um, but you, you didn't see eye to eye. The Emperor Reverse. So I feel like somebody was overly overbearing. Like they were overly. They needed to have the control over everything. Otherwise, they just wouldn't feel comfortable. And this, you know, that kind of relationship, who does that really work for? So it was like almost doomed from the start because. I feel like either you, but I, I really feel like this is this, the other person. They were very much like a control freak, perhaps. Ten of Cups. Oh. Mm. Um. So I feel like, you know, there was a lot of emotion between you and this person. <clears throat> Mutually. But for this other person, this feeling this kind of happiness or this kind of emotional satisfaction made them feel like that. Okay, like the emperor reverse. Like, I used to be the shit. You know, I had my stuff together. I call the shots. And now all of a sudden I'm feeling all these emotions and I don't like it because it makes me feel out of control. And so they ended up walking away even though they knew, <clears throat> they knew that they had all these cups here like full of emotion full of like good things but they're like uh-uh not me i'm not going down that route and that's why they didn't give to the relationship the way that uh you had expected there's a six of pentacles in the past six of pentacles seven of wands reverse yeah i feel like they 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 did give to a certain extent and then they just pull back so it, it was like with this person, it was like you take uh, three steps forward, five steps back. It's like that push and pull and, you know, like pulling teeth. And so somebody just backed away. And maybe you guys did as well because you, you weren't liking this interaction. So what's crowning you now is the six of wands. You're now ready to feel good about yourself again. You want to get out there again date be noticed the empress reverse okay you want to feel sexy again this um i don't know i feel like you kind of felt either rejected i do feel like it's rejected like somebody didn't see your value and that that really bothered you that that you didn't come across as someone as the empress you know uh here you are feeling like the Empress reverse like you don't really have much to give so I do feel like you're reaching out externally to get that um, which yeah it might work but I feel like that might be temporary so just a heads up you know maybe this is a sign that yeah you can do that 
you know, get attention externally to make yourself feel better and kind of get you through this. But I feel like ultimately it's really about self-love. So there, there is a need for you to focus on self-love and not so much because, you know, once you feel like that, instead of like this, once you feel this way, you're going to get the attention regardless. So it's kind of like killing two birds with one stone. So really just focus on yourself as opposed to the outside for now. And I think that will help you accomplish both. Ooh. Okay, yeah, see the death card. Okay, so you want to be able to let this go, get out of your funk, start feeling good again and you know just get out there and get what you need from somebody else who, who is willing and able because this person i feel like he was willing to an extent but something was holding him back he had there was a person here male or female um just very much of a control freak i feel emotions are not their thing basically okay so let's see this nine of pentacles reversed the star okay king of swords we're getting clarity. There's healing that comes from learning the truth or from seeing the truth yourself, discovering it yourself. There's like a healing process that happens here in the near future. Okay, Ace of Pentacles reverse. I feel like you guys are going to be um, gaining clarity here in the near future with, with regards to why... Because I do feel like there is a struggle. Like I said, I feel like you guys are kind of of, of two minds about your situation. It's like you do want something for the long term. You want a, a, a relationship to start that does have promise for something better. Um, but you're trying, like you're healing. You're healing from this situation. And through that healing, you're gaining clarity, you know, into why there's like a part of you who... Like, you know you do want this new stable beginning, but at the same time, you hide from it. Okay, so what I want you guys to kind of focus on is not so much the relationship here that you're having to let go of, this energy. Um, this person could be a, a earth sign. It's not so much about them. It's the like focus on why you attracted this type of person into your life. Somebody who was completely like really emotionally unavailable. Why are you attracting emotionally unavailable people into your life? And maybe it has a lot more to do with you than you realized, you know, um, because I feel like there is a hesitation on your part as well. Like there's something that needs to be healed with regards to like giving you clarity as to, okay, do you really want a committed relationship in the future or not? And I do feel like you gain clarity, like, yeah, I don't want to be alone for the rest of my life. I do want to have someone, maybe not right this second, but I feel like if you guys kind of understand yourselves a little bit better, um, focus on yourself and giving yourself love, uh, that might point you in the, in the, in the right direction as to where you really want to take this? Where wh where do you want your relationships to go? Because I do feel in the near future, you're going to have this realization that, you know what, I do deserve to have a great relationship and to be with someone. And why should I have to be alone? You know, there is no reason. I feel like there are opportunities around you. You definitely do get a lot of attention from the opposite sex. And I feel like you've, you've kind of been shortchanging yourself, putting yourself out there as this kind of person when... I don't really feel like that's you guys. You know, maybe at times, yeah, it might be fun and everything, but I feel like deep inside, mm, I'm not buying it. 
I do feel like you guys want something more. So let's see. How you see yourself is the Knight of Wands with the Page of Cups reverse. Six of Cups, see? Pleasure. Okay, so this could be like a soulmate energy. Um, it's like how you see yourself is that you want something innocent. You want like an innocent relationship that could be like a friends with benefits, right? This definitely could be a friends with benefits. Um, somebody that you feel comfortable around that could be friends that could be, you know, there's like camaraderie here. There's, there's having fun with this person, feeling at ease with them. Um, and I feel like you gravitate toward that. Maybe even with younger people, you might gravitate toward like younger people that you kind of know are not going to be into commitment or you know that they're, they're just, they're going to be okay with these casual relationships that are just you know casual relationships they're they're just like friends with benefits or whatever so that these emotions are not a threat which will work for you in the short term but i think in the near future you're going to start to realize that okay it's time for me to start looking for quality so how other people see you sexy Hot, enticing, ready to go. Okay, moon reverse. Hmm. Pentacles reverse again um, I'm getting this idea that people are getting the impression that you're very much about the excitement and the newness of a relationship but that you're not really into putting much energy or you know work into into these kind of connections right And I feel like that point happens when emotions start to creep up. That's when it's like, oh, got to get out of here. Oh, emotions. Oh, got to go. You know, that's how you're kind of coming off or coming across. And maybe that's that's what you're expressing, because I feel like that's what he would express. Again, could be a he or a she. This could be, you know, you could be a he or a she, of course. So the way this person would express themselves is, is especially with this page of cups reverse here this is like i'm just here for a good time i don't know about you but we seem to be having a good time so let's have a good time together let's just make these let's just splash in the water together and and, and feel all this pleasure <laughs> that's what that's how you're coming across and that's how people see you like oh this person so it's like you almost write yourself off because yeah you do want this you don't want to admit it because I feel like maybe you're not prepared yet to do so, or you, you just don't see the path forward for this happening, for you finding somebody who's really quality that you want to spend years with or months with, or you want to invest time and energy into. I feel like the moment that you say that you want that with someone, like you feel like you, you're, you're jinxing it. So, yeah. So what I'm saying is you guys have to become clear on what you want and I feel like you will in the near future because you're writing yourself off from the start like you're already telling people from the start I'm only here for a good time so like don't even think about it and then when people do end up you know let's say you come off that way but then you go out with them a few times and you're like oh I really like this person but you already wrote yourself off because you presented yourself as this guy you know when maybe Maybe you're really this, which is, yeah, it's a page. It's very vulnerable. It's like, you know, this is like a poet, a, rom a romantic. This is more your, you, sorry, guys, but you, you're cancer. <laughs> this is you. But right now, this is who you want to be because it's safer, right? Okay. So hopes or fears, we have the nine of cups reversed. So you're fearing that you will not be able to achieve 
personal emotional satisfaction. You're not going to be able to find exactly what it is that you're looking for. You might be a little bit, yeah, a little bit pessimistic. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Like, you fear that that wish, that secret wish that you have to, again, have a long-term connection is never going to happen. So it's like, for you, it's safer to just completely write it off and just, you know, say, oh, no, I'm just here for a good time. You know, and convince yourself and everybody else that that's all you're here for. When in reality, you crave more. Emotionally, you crave more. But you're fearing that this is never going to happen to you. We have the Justice card. So Justice is really about karma. A balancing out. It's almost like you feel like you have no say in it. You know, like it's just not in the cards for you or that's just the, the, the karma that you've been dealt or something like that. And I really don't, I don't believe that. Let me see what this Knight of, or King of Pentacles reverse. Who is this and what is this? Okay. Two of Pentacles and... Prince of Swords. Two of Wands. Hmm. I really feel that in it, what it's looking like is like there is this sense of like not belonging not having um you know that anchor holding you down and i feel like you guys kind of long for that you long for longevity like a, a long-term situation that makes you feel safe um and i feel like this is becoming clearer to you It's becoming clear to you that you have to kind of choose. You have to choose, you know, narrow down your path. We have the two of wands here, which represents like you being at a crossroads. Like, where do you really want to go? I feel like there's clarity here. And maybe this is as a result of a relationship that you had with an earth sign. Um, this kind of triggered this um, examination here. Uh, but there is a need of letting go of something, maybe an earth sign, and, and going off in another direction where, where things are clearer uh, for you. Because I, I do feel like you want stability. For others of you, if you were dealing with an earth sign, I feel like you're eventually, you're going to be able to drop this person. There might be a conversation with this person like the maybe they they're leaving your life they're like um and it might happen quickly like they might tell you there might be communication for those of you dealing with earth signs that um this person you know is not going to be in your life anymore for whatever reason because their life has taken them down a different path okay they had to make a choice and they're going down a different path so this person might not be in your life and i feel like that's the energy that you had to let go of anyway so that might be good for you. But yeah, I do feel like um, there is more healing that is happening and that needs to happen. Um, because I feel like you guys need to get more clear on um, your true purpose. Or not purpose, but... I feel like you guys need to approach life with more intent. If that makes any sense. Like, yeah, you. it's good to go with the flow and, and just kind of you know gauge as you go uh, as to where the universe is trying to guide you towards but i do feel like you have to take some responsibility like for your own life because we are here to co-create there are some things that you know are just written for us and and that we're destined to do or to be or, or you know places we are destined to go 
but most of it we are really co-creating along with the universe so it's like you have to get clear in your mind where you want your uh, romantic relationships to actually go so that and, and be truthful with yourself what is really going to satisfy you and make you happy because as long as you identify what that is maybe it's not you know feasible or reasonable for that to happen within the next five years maybe it's not but as long as you have it clear in your mind okay at some point this is what's truly going to make me happy then okay now you have it clear in your mind and now you know okay for now i'm just going to have fun but i do want that long-term relationship <clears throat> so here's what i'm going to do to make that happen that kind of thing all right so let's move on to your general reading let me just shuffle these <clears throat> Oh, geez. Okay, they don't want to be shuffled too much, so let's just let them be. Okay, so general energies for May 1st through the 15th for Cancer, male and females, 2018. Judgment. Okay, so a wake-up call some kind of um, realization, wake-up call, maybe even a second chance at something. <clears throat> Finding, Making a final judgment about something, a final decision. Okay, two cards. We have the Page of Swords reverse and the High Priestess reverse. Hmm. I feel like um, I feel like there's going to be some secrets revealed. Um, again, I'm doing this reading during the Scorpio full moon. I don't know if I mentioned that, which is tonight. And you know, the Scorpio full moon brings up secrets, makes them come out, and we have the High Priestess reverse here with the Knight of or I'm sorry, the page of swords reverse. So there might be somebody around you who is lying. It's like you're, you're going to find out who your friends are, who your enemies are. There, there's someone around you who's either like very jealous of you. Um, there's been lies. There's been deceit. You may have found something out about someone or may have found out a secret through spying like maybe you're looking at some of these social media or something like that um, let's see what flipped here hangman nine of swords reverse okay well, that's a good way to end a reading Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so yeah, there is there's a decision here that you may need to make. Um, it may you know have to do with you dropping something that was really a burden for you, caused you a lot of stress. I feel like you're having to guard your heart right now. Um, so Seven of Cups reverse, Four of Cups reverse. Hmm. I feel like this is about you feeling a sense of empowerment to take action when it comes to things that happen to you as opposed to for some reason I'm getting this even in the other reading I did get this like you guys are kind of allowing things to just happen to you you know uh, as opposed to being a little bit more proactive and, and guiding things to go the way that would be best for you. So I do feel like there are opportunities to do that, but you kind of choose to just allow things to occur. Whatever that means. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so the judgment. Six of Cups. Okay, something... A decision about somebody from your past or somebody from your past who came back for a second chance or let's see something from your past coming back 
Prince of Cups reverse. Interesting, this might may have caused some um, Hmm. This could also, for some of you, I'm um, getting that this has to do with a child. There's like a decision that needs to be made here about a child and it might be, this decision might be disappointing to the child. Or it's like you're trying to, very hard for something not to affect a child. It's like a decision, a major decision. Two cards here, Six of Pentacles, Reverse, and the Fool. Yeah, there's a, there's like a sense of disappointment here. There's a decision that leads to a sense of disappointment. There's having to be a new beginning. And someone's disappointed about that. I feel like it may be a child. Maybe your child is going through some kind of new beginning. Maybe they're starting, they're going to be starting like a new school next year or a college. Or there's like decisions here having to do major, major decisions with a child. Um, but it's like uh, not, uh, it leads to disappointment in other words. Again, we have another page Page of Swords reverse. This could be an um, air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, Ace of Swords reverse. Again, this is like lies. Okay, but we do have temperance here, so. Um. There may be some misunderstandings, but I feel like things get smoothed over. Or this is maybe saying like there, there may be some argument or misunderstandings between um, you guys and a child. <clears throat> And that there's a, there's a need for patience with this person, with this child, especially if, it, if it's like an air sign. Again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Ten of Cups. Okay, so this is somebody in your family um, brings you a lot of joy. I do feel that this is a child for a lot of you. So there's like decisions, major decisions that need to happen here. Um, Maybe there's like a blockage or something in communication or there's like a um, communication that's not uh, like bad news, you know, getting bad news and there's a need to um, be, be patient with the child or something like that. Um, okay, so High Priestess Reverse. Strength. Okay, so whatever secrets come out, um, it's going to take some strength to get through. Show some courage. Ace of Wands reverse. Okay, so this might be like a secret or some news. I feel like there's going to be probably some bad news with regards to some, some type of new path, a new beginning. We had the Fool here. There's like a new beginning. Someone's having to be you know, courageous because there, there's a disappointment, something like they wanted to pursue. They're not going to be able to pursue. Um, maybe you guys knew this all along and you've been keeping this from a child because you're trying to avoid disappointment. This is a tough one. I keep getting a child though. Like I started on one path and then I keep getting a child. Two cards, two of wands, again a decision, Hierophant. Um, so 
something about like some kind of institution, a decision about. So I do feel like for a lot of you, you're dealing with um, children. Maybe like they're going into college. They're not getting into the college that they wanted to get into. So there's like a need. There's a reason why I feel like that's divinely guided. Maybe they didn't belong there. There's like something better out there for them that's going to make them happier. Um, but there is a need to like have some patience with this situation. Um, you have to be courageous and have faith and know that things are going to turn out the way that they're supposed to, even though you couldn't um, go down that path that you originally had intended. I feel like this has to do with like some kind of organization or it's like making a decision <clears throat> like about taking a different path or something. Um, it's going to take some time. Yeah. It's like I feel like somebody had their eyes set on uh, one particular path that had to do with a child. So maybe your child, like you're helping, again, you're helping your child like go to college or something, apply to colleges or maybe even to a new job or something like that. Um, but yeah, things just don't quite work out. Now you kind of have to, with the hangman, just take a break and kind of figure out what you guys are going to do from here, okay, to avoid any kind of disaster like you you want to find another option like a good option to replace the original option that you had so basically you have to come up with a plan b because for some reason this plan a just was not for you okay so you're tr you're having a hard time leaving behind plan a because you were really set on plan a but plan a was not for you so we're having to see things from a different perspective. Nine of Wands. So there's something that you have to give up on. Okay. So you need to think about that, like what that is. Um, see it from a different perspective. Okay. Again, I feel like this is for your benefit. Like um, wherever it is that you do land or your children land is going to end up being a lot better than you had originally thought. So Nine of Swords Reverse is like stop worrying. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Things will work out. Let's see what else it says. Hangman reverse. Okay. So first it came up upright and then it came up reverse. So yeah, you are going to gain, gain that clarity. You are going to see things from a different perspective and understand why things turned out the way that they did. Three of pentacles. Okay. So something does work out. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of teamwork, but I don't feel like, um, you know, worrying is necessary. You're going to get things done and they're going to turn out the way that they're supposed to. You get one more card. Four of cups. Okay. So I feel like this is you, like you're just wanting the best option. So it's like that wondering like, oh, okay, yeah, I have this, but what about that? What about that other thing? It's that. I feel like that's what you have to put an end to. Just trust, you know, the the path will be uh, clear to you at some point here toward the middle of um, May. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. But I do feel strongly for many of you, this has to do with like children issues. Okay, so I hope that helps somebody. Um, let me know in the comments. And um, what else? Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Also, if you guys are interested in a private reading, you can always... Email me at eyesofthestarstarot at gmail.com. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you soon for the mid-months.